So there we go. We got the fire going. And we're almost out of wood, but pretty good so the camera shot off there last time so this is what it looks like with the sled in here and this will all go on the sea can during the summer when a boat comes out sled goes in still got not bad room in there actually you know what I got dollies for the wheels I could probably, uh, on a nice day, skid this out and just dolly this over. Yeah, I'd, I'd still be able to work on that if I my knee bends and stuff. I don't know. It'll be a month after surgery for sure. I don't know. What's going on. But, uh, yeah, there's lots to do in here, man. Lots to do in here. I'm surprised. Last time I got in here, oh, I know why, because I had that stupid other crap was back in there and I didn't have any room. Now I got all this room there. It makes a difference. Four feet. Look at that. This, this, there was so much shit behind there that I took it and I threw it all out in the back there. A bunch of cap shelving and stuff I had, uh, drawers and cabinets. Thought I was gonna use them in here for tool, tools and that, but fuck it. So yeah, I got the old players in here. Put on lake and race it Sunday. Anyways, so I got these beautiful little I don't know if they're Chinese or wherever they are. Little tip ups here. Look at that. They come in with the, with the weight and a tre and the treble hook. And they're, and they're a little bit small though, because I guess the, the Chinamen only catch like a little minnows or something. So I was gonna take. You see how? You see how? If that was a lid, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna go to town tomorrow. I'm picking up about five lids because the buckets are expensive. But I don't really need buckets. But the lids are cheap. I'm gonna take these and drill a hole in the middle of the lid so it's light and it won't rot like wood or anything. And then I'm just gonna self tap screw this right to the uh, to the lid and it'll live on there. And then when I go out fishing, the lid will go over the hole that I drill with the auger and it'll 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 support this. And then this little flag here just. Once you, once you drop your line down through there, you put this little flag on here. Like that, and then when the fish pulls on that, it, un it unwinds this, and there's a tightener, more or less. If I loosen this off the hook, it just drops. Bang, beautiful. It flows great. It's not like this wind-up crap shit here we've been using all our life. This, this crap here. This pure shit rubber, might as well be rubber fucking hose. Clothesline line you get. And I think uh, this, you know, this was probably a... I got these at the dump, I think. And then the guy bought them for his kids, and they used them once. I said, fuck this shit. And I threw them out, and I grabbed them. But, you know, you don't really need a reel and a rod. You just need this kind of a deal here. So when the fish bites it, it pops up, you run out. Meanwhile, you're inside your heated portable drinking shelter. I mean, fish hut. And you're sitting there on a nice warm chair and a heater on and a cooler full of beer and fireball and whiskey. And real minnows, just with a stick and a line, like my brother Dave uses. Just sit there and just sit there and jig, constantly moving. And you can balance yourself out with a beer in the left hand and a rod in this side. It works out pretty good. Forty hundred thousand trillion and two hundred and ninety-three fishermen can't be wrong. And um, you catch fish, and then you look out your window, and you have this out far enough out your window of the hut like a hundred feet out, so when you're sitting in your chair, you don't even have to stand up. You just look out the window, and if this has popped up, you run out, and you pull in your fish, and you have another one out the other window. So you're covering about, you know, a hundred feet that way, a hundred feet that way, and where you are, so you got nice coverage. So if they all start biting on one hole, and everybody, you take the tent, you lift it up, and you walk over and you set it on that one. That's how you do it. Well, anyway, I must get on the side now and go back to fucking bed. They called me at 8 this morning for my surgery date. Yeah, 
you got to go for a COVID test. I stick that thing up your nose and tell you to cry, but I don't cry. Everyone else does, though. And then uh, if you don't got COVID, they call you in on Wednesday for your operation. Well, anyway, uh, that's about all I'm doing out here now. Go kick the ball for the dog and throw it. And life continues. Hopefully I'll see you guys uh, after the surgery sometime. If not, well, it's good to Nice knowing you. All right.